a memorial service at St Paul's Cathedral to remember the 71 people who died in the Grenfell Tower fire. We'll be at St Paul's where we'll hear from survivors and relatives also this lunchtime. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. A multi-faith memorial service has taken place at St Paul's Cathedral six months to the day since the fire at Grenfell Tower in West London, which left 71 people dead. Rita Chakrabarti is at St Paul's for us now. Rita. Rupert Murdoch has sold a majority of his company, 21st Century Fox, to Disney in one of the biggest media deals for years. After decades of expanding his huge empire, the 86-year-old media mogul has finally taken the decision to shrink his business by selling off a major wing of Fox, which owns Sky, for £39 billion. Pounds. Our media editor, Amal Rajan, is here. How big a moment is this for the Murdoch empire? Sophie, it would be hard to state what a, what a big moment this is, not just in Planet Murdoch, but also across the whole of the media. The vast majority of Rupert Murdoch's business, which is an incredibly complicated, vast and global business, is now being bought by Disney. That includes cable networks like FX and National Geographic. It includes broadcasters like Sky in the UK and Star in India. And crucially, it includes the famous 20th Century Fox film studio and Hulu, the streaming service. And I think, well, their stake in Hulu. And I think that last one is the key point here. There is a revolution going on in media where basically the idea of channels that have a fixed moment where you can watch stuff is long gone. And people are now consuming stuff via the internet and there are these big new players Amazon Apple Facebook Google and Rupert Murdoch basically feels that he can't actually compete with them so it's a remarkable thing that even Fox which is a massive company worth tens of billions of pounds is a small player compared to those big giants and I think what makes this a really truly astonishing moment Sophie as you said in your introduction is that Rupert Murdoch has spent decades building up a media empire and this is him stepping back and if you'd have said a year ago that Rupert Murdoch isn't going to be someone who buys things and expands but retreats and sells I'd have said you're completely mad but it's happened and it's happened because this revolution in media is catching even people like Rupert Murdoch out. Thank you. Theresa May is on her way to Brussels for a summit with EU leaders at which they're expected to give the go-ahead for talks to begin on future trade relations with the UK post-Brexit. The government is insisting that its plans for Brexit won't be affected by the defeat last night in the Commons which means MPs will have a final say on any deal with the EU. Here's our political correspondent Ian Watson. A third person has appeared in court charged with the murder of four children in a house fire in Salford. 25. A deal has been reached aimed at preventing one of the UK's largest care home companies from going into administration. Four Haemophilia, it's a condition that leads to excessive bleeding, even from minor injuries. It severely affects around 2,000 people in the UK. Now, a team of doctors say they have achieved a significant breakthrough in the treatment of the most common form of the disease. The research team at Bart's Health NHS Trust used gene therapy to correct the defect in a small safety trial. Our health correspondent, James Gallagher, reports. It's cost $1 billion to build. The new United States Embassy in London, which has just been completed, opens next month. It's a 12-storey glass cube on the banks of the Thames and comes complete with a moat, the first new defensive moat to be built in England for 150 years. The US ambassador to the UK said the new embassy is a signal to the world that the relationship between the two countries is strong and going to grow. Richard Lister reports. The Scottish Government is expected to announce its first major changes to tax bans since power was given to Holyrood last year. It's thought tax hikes for Scotland's middle and high earners are likely in order to help raise funds for public services. The move could mean that some people in Scotland will pay more tax than those earning the same salary elsewhere in the UK. Katrina Renton reports. A test in Perth. David Mallon scored his maiden test century, sharing an unbeaten partnership of 174 with Johnny Bairstow. Australia are already 2-0 up in the series, and England need at least a draw to keep their Ashes hopes alive. It all comes as the Sun newspaper has published more allegations about illegal gambling involving the Ashes. Andy Swiss reports from Perth. Now to a family mystery which has taken one man more than 70 years to solve. In 1943, a box was abandoned on the steps of the BBC in London. It was found by a studio manager called Trevor Hill, who at first thought it was a bomb. But it turned out that the box actually contained a baby, Robin King. Now 74, Mr King says he has spent most of his life wondering who abandoned him and why. 
But now, thanks to DNA and some dogged detective work, he finally has some answers. And he's been reunited with the BBC man who found him all those years ago, as Steve Nibbs reports.